Hello there. Welcome to Schroeser's classes and today we'll be starting off with inorganic chemistry. We'll be studying of classification of elements of the periodic table. Classification of elements. Earlier attempts to classify the el elements are Prout's hypothesis, Dobener's triad, Dober, Do triads. Way to keep this in mind because these are one of the very small parts of inorganic chemistry but they are one of the most sought out questions in this format of the examinations then there is Newlands octets and then there is Lothermere's classification we'll be dealing with each in just a while Lothermere's atomic volume curve is also the name of Lothermere's classification. Let's start with Prout's hypothesis. That is, first, Prout's hypothesis. It is given, it rather, it was given in 1815 Prout suggested that hydrogen atom was considered as the fundamental unit was considered as the fundamental unit from which all other atoms are made this hypothesis is also known as unitary theory next let's learn about Daubigny's triad Daubigny's triads this was John Daubigny who was a German chemist proposed this in 1829 he said that on the basis of similarity in proper properties similarity in properties he classified certain elements into groups of three called triads groups of three triads if triads were arranged in increasing order of their atomic weight increasing order of atomic weight the atomic weight of the middle element was approximately the arithmetic of the other two elements for example atomic weight of lithium sodium and potassium are 7 23 29 respectively the properties of middle element were also the average of the other two but this one had a limitation let me write down the limitation for you the limitation was that the law was 
applicable for a few elements only next newland's law of octaves this was proposed in 1865 by john alexander newland of this newland law of octaves he said that when elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic weights every eighth element resembles in its property that is every eighth element resembles its properties with the first one just like the eighth note of a musical scale this is called Newland's law of octaves as you can see this is how Newland had arranged the elements and every eighth element repeated its character or properties but even this had its limitation this law was not applicable for heavier elements And lastly, the Lothermeyer classification. In 1869, Lothermeyer stated the Lothermeyer classification. It stated that when elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic weights, similarities in physical as well as chemical properties were observed at regular gap the physical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic weights this we need to keep in mind and hence I'm gonna write this physical properties are periodic functions of their atomic weights.